What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's PopeyJN. Welcome to the very last episode of Stories Untold. I've been dreading this, man. I'm dreading this. I love this game. Um, this is the last episode. Um, I'm actually back playing games instead of announcing shit, so... I do just want to say before we get into it, thank you so much to everyone who's already signed up for the premium content over on popyjn.com. I really appreciate that. Uh, the reaction to the site has been overwhelming. So thank you so much. And if you guys would like to sign up uh, to the premium content service and get even more content from me, uh, it's over on popyjn.com. Uh, sign up now for a 30-day free trial. Now, let's get into episode 4. It's the last tape. Here we go. We're getting into it. We're getting loose. We're getting limber. Ah, oh, it's the last time we'll hear that theme. Ah, oh, God. I, I need a minute. I need a minute. Oh, my God, it froze. I what that's enough of that for now. Oh, my God, that was meant to happen. I thought I broke it. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, what did I do? Hey. You're fond of this show, aren't you? I'm very fond of this show. Can we return to this show? Roll the clip. <laughs> or not. Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Yay, the observation room. Whoop, okay, up. Oh, I'm a patient in a hospital. Oh, God, no. This no. This be starting to feel like home to you. So it's like the asylum or something now. Everything's gonna switch off and just wheel me through it, or like scare PewDiePie, episode seven. Hey, camera. I'm familiar with these cameras. Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Cool. Um. Would you mind turning off in the, uh, the light there? That would be nice. I don't get to see what I look right. like. Oh. Mr. Asian. That's are me. You ready? Yes, I... No. Maybe. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. I'm never ready, sir. Never ready. Alright. Let's go. This is subject 12-19-86-23. New session and 12 19 86 23. Myself, Dr. Alexander leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. That's me. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma. Boom! Turn off the recording. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These what? episodes have always ended in panic. Oh my god, is that what the TV show was? Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. Alright, finish strong, James. Finish strong. But you can do this. I can't. I can do this. It's time to remember. <laughs> Just a minute. Don't, don't pressure me, man. Your mind. It's like a... Oh, no. Not you. show you your memories. Look into it. No. Ah, here we go. You gonna show me more disturbing images? Yep. Of course you fucking are. All right. This is it, guys. This is the last one. You recall the false memory of a remote weather station. I bloody well did, didn't I? The rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily. Encouraging you to wake. C-O-M-A. Coma. Number puzzles with you. Yep. That's really what it looked back. like. People needed answers, James. Okay. Remember. Sure. I have another signal here for you, James. What it's you got? 5610 FM. You can't miss it. 5610 FM. Zero. Oops. Zero three zero three one nine six eight. Oh. Oops. 
Oh, I'm doing the same one again. What? Wow. Okay. 5,610. 5,600... And... Oh. And 10. 10. 10. 12. 19. 12. 19. Type in the numbers, James. 12. 19. This is 20F. 12. 19, 86, 23, 24. Type in the Ooh. Numbers, James. Report. That's the code word, report. 20F, 12, 19, 86, 23. What the fuck is what? What the fuck is going on here? 20F, 12, 19, I don't know what's happening. I did. This is 20F, 12, 19. I heard you. How do I? What? 19, 86, How do I? 23, I don't know. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F. Okay. This is 20F. 12. I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Alright. That makes more sense. What the fuck happened? What the hell? Alright. Uh, bro. Yes. Wilson Department, traffic. Oh, so it's written in the report. Oh, great. Okay. What do we got? 20F fatal accident. 20F fatal accident. Driver information, driver information, empty, whiskey, out of control, empty, whiskey, out of control, fatal accident, empty, whiskey, out of control, they're all capped, fatal, accident, Empty whiskey. Empty whiskey. And out of control. Out of control. No? Okay, well that didn't help.
Or am I meant to be looking for these? Number one, Daniel. Daniel who? Alexander. All caps. Alex and Air? Yeah. No? Or is it the date? Fourteen eight nineteen eighty six. Fourteen eight nineteen eighty six. No. All right. What else? What else? What else? You know what it could be? Is it because I didn't put 20F dash Vado accident? 20F dash Vado accident. Is that it? No? Was there a space? There is a space. Okay. Space, space, Fatal Accident. Empty Oh! There we go! I'm a genius! Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. Okie dokie. You have to face it, James. Finally. What am I facing? 7000 FM. Not like you at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings. For oh my god, years. hi. Not once have we even talked about Hey, are you an eyeball? He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. The it door slams shut. Haitian guy. Plunging He's you into darkness. A light flickers on. Oh no. This doesn't make sense to you. No. Just step into the hospital ward. I do too. Only it seems abandoned. Hey, it's the room I'm in. What the fuck is going on here? Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what you really said or what you really believed. Oh, I don't like this. It turns up someone else is here. I do not like this. One bit. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Hey. Nay. I'm not a fan of this. You grab the case from the table. Ah! I don't like it. Something's gonna happen. You spent most waking moments in here. I don't like this. <laughs> It's scary. They only you only caught a glimpse of the room. You guess that's okay. Don't give me time to read it. Whatever. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna exit now. The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Oh, I don't like it. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Um, if you drop, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, what? 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 Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency. Wait. Board. The other passengers died in the accident. Were those all hallucinations, or like? 
Amp charge full to ten and give me one. Oh my god! No! Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up full to ten. Oh my god! I'm doing everything that I did. Hundred jewels. Come on. Oh my god. Charge it up to ten. Monitor on. Come on, hundred jewels. Charging up full to ten. There we go. Clear. Oh god. What the no fuck? From first stage. Let's try higher. Two hundred jewels. Keep the amp charge at ten. Two hundred jewels. Keep the charge at ten. Let's go. Two hundred jewels. Charge up to ten. Am I gonna fucking die on the operating table? Jesus. Let's go. Clear. Oh. No okay, Perinis. Of some sort here, a weak signal. Jeez. Increase again. Three sixty. Charge full. Okay. Keep it going. That's what the bus wants. Come on, 360, hurry. I'm going. Boom, boom. Clear. Oh. Ouch. Would you look at that? Seems we have a pulse. Yay. Rhythm is Great. We need to run an X-ray right away. Where are we with the um, X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. I don't remember how. I don't remember how. Um, how'd they get the x-ray up? This one, right? Uh, Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. I have no idea. I don't remember how they do the x-ray. Whoops! Waiting x-ray data. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. I don't remember how to do shit. Um... X-ray. Where are we with that X-ray? I'm trying, sir. Now, Stop shitting on my blanket. Stop it. Uh. Um. They've all got to be off, right? For it to work. Can we get this on the screen, please? Can you get them the screen? Dude, I've got. Oh, there. Done. Ha. I remember shit. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Prepare for what? Please. Yep, drill's on. The drill, please. It's on. Didn't everything else have to be off?
I don't remember how it works. I thought it was just a drill. Can we drill. on the screen, please? There we go. Mr. Ishin, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm fucking not. If you need to stay calm and try to relax, <laughs> go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to hey. alleviate some of this discomfort. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, dude. <gasps> nah. Oh, we're back to the abandoned house? Okay. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave for a six month trip abroad with friends. Mum, Dad and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw you a party to celebrate it all. House is full. You're in the living room and as usual, you don't recognise a soul. Uh, look around. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mum and dad. There's a door to the hall. Open door. Walk to door. Go to door. Talk to mum? Look around again so I can fucking remember what it was there's a door to the hall enter hall push through the crowd into the empty hallway hallway is welcoming as ever only this time folks have made a great big banner up across the main wall half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Go up stairs. As much as you'd love to, you promised you'd stay downstairs for the party. Uh, grab drink. You aren't drinking someone else's drink. Get your own. Look around. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. Go to kitchen. I say all the best parties are in the kitchen. Mm, are they? Kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and foods on the table. The party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Eat roast, man. Maybe later. Grab drink. Pour yourself a drink. Nice voice now. Look around. Who's there? There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is signaling you over. Go to Jen. You push through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. Respond? She repeats the question asking if you had a nice time. Yes. You tell her it's great even though you really don't know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Get Jen a drink. Pour Jen a drink and, once, and one for yourself. I just poured one for myself you alcoholic. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer, She's always, she always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for your big trip. No. You tell her no. That is usual, okay. Another hug. Your family's really going out of their way to make sure this trip happened for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're gonna miss her. She walks away. Okay. Jenna's to spit into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and smiling at the approving faces. 
There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. Drink! You pour and down another drink. Anything to move that nine one. Drink. Pour and down another drink. Anything to move the nine one. Alright, look around. Who's there? Room is full. There's a utility room writing on the wall. Go to utility room. Yeah, I didn't really spell that rhyme right. Go to room. Go to utility room or go to door. Go to door. Open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here and normally. This is where Dad kept the finest wines and whiskies. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Rig card? Picked up the whiskey at the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. A bottle of 25 year old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you, you take in the you take in the room around around about you. There must be a hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drinks here. You really must thank you, Dad, for the whiskey. I go to Dad. Look around. There's racks of fire and wine that adored the kitchen. Go to kitchen. Head back into the kitchen, clutching your best friend. Look around. Okay. You stumble out of, the ki out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. Alright, look around. It'd be great if I could spell. Look around. Busy and noisy. You need to find somewhere quieter. Go upstairs. Okay. Look around. Oh my god, look around. Busy noise, you need to find somewhere quieter. Um, go to hallway. Go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through when you make it to the hall. Stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen. Covered in blood. You look around? She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Talk to Jen. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Jen? Oh my god. Talk to Jen. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, go upstairs. Oh, Christ. Covered in blood. Hi. Oh. Hey. Does that mean everything here was connected? Like, everything was connected. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I Whoa. don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her. Oh, shit. We did the best we could. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't oh, to take damn. A seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. Oh shit, what happened? What the fuck? You're standing in the hallway, something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. 
You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Uh, look around. Doors to the kitchen and living room lead from here while stairs take you up. Go upstairs. You love to call it a night, but Jen is waiting patiently. Go to Jen. Alright, look around again. Doors to the kitchen and living room. Go to living room. You're sure your keys are in the living room? Living room has a more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mum is pouring a is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Look around. Coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of those chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Uh, search coat. You search for all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Right, go to hallway. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen thanks you for helping out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road's like the back of your hand, don't you? No! Alright, look around. Jen is standing by the front door, all ready to go. A go to front door. Open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits in front of the house. Go to car. You fumble with your car handle. Oh, you fumble with your car handle, confused until Jen tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Use key. Key. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the glove compartment, hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you it's for when you return. Um, turn on car. Try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower, despite holding keys in your hand. Look around. The usual steering wheel, handbrake, ignition. Uh, read note. Notice from your dad that reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, Vandu, something in the attic for you. It's in your room. The car is freezing. Both you and Jen have your seatbelts on and are ready to go. It's time to go. Drive. The car doesn't move, given that the engine isn't actually on. It's like you've never driven before. Okay. Turn on car. Try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower despite holding keys in your hand. Um, put keys in ignition. Takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the keys into the ignition. Now turn on the car. Turn the keys in the ignition and the car roars to life. Drive. Car squeals but stays stationary. Jennifer suggests you release the brake. <laughs> God damn, I'm so bad. Release handbrake. Very hesitantly, release the handbrake. Put car in gear. Okay. Drive. Put the car into gear and pull out the driveway like a first time driver. You, I. I'm driving, very drunk, on the roads towards the town where your sister stays. Jen starts dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. It is left or right. I can't remember. Right. I go right. You don't want to, 
but you had better ask Jen for directions. Ask Jen. She goes and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Go left. Turn the car left at junction and accelerate off. Confident that you are on the right road now, you listen up and put your foot on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine moves at your command. Jen sits up in the chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Okay, slow down. Don't scare her. That's not really what happened You're though, is it? The place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. Uh, break. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside James, joins it. Sake, pull over. Joins the inside. The whole world around you begins to James. scream. It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? Holy fuck! Your sister, her parents, herself. Holy shit! You made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. Oh no. You wake up in the car, the world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole in the in the what? In the chassis? Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engine. Jesus. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. What do you want? Get out of car. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. Uh, um, um, unbuckle seatbelt. I'm sorry, I don't understand. God damn it. Um, Take off seat belt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over and you slump to the roof of the car. Get out of the car. Squeeze through the wreck the wreckage and fall to the, your knees on the ground next. Every breath brings you pain in your chest, your head is throbbing. A blue car has smashed into your passenger side of the car. Your wife cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching in the distance. Uh, get Jen. Go to Jen. Flashing lights. Uh, go to lights. What do I do? What do I do? Wave arms. Signal to lights. Go to flashing lights. Look around. Crash sites, smoke billows from the crash cars. Still sure flicking on and off. Okay. Uh, flashing lights are approaching. Get help. I don't fucking know. Um, open. Maybe I can open the car door and drag them out? What car? The other blue car are yours. Open my car door. What car? Open blue door. What car? The other blue car or yours? The fuck is going on? Open car door. What car? The other blue car or yours? Yours. <sighs> Open your car door. What car? Open blue car door. My car. blue car. 
look around. Smack beer is from the crash, blah 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 blah. I'm fucking no drink whiskey. Or maybe I could spell it right. Drink your whiskey. Come on, James. If you drink this now, you're going to get what's coming to you. Drink my whiskey, man. Um, read note again. Note always changing now reads, get through this James. I don't care if you want to or not. Open car door. The fucking blue car. Good God. I... C Whoa. What's... What the fuck has happened? Go to car. Go to my car. There's nothing that can that can hear you and need to fix before the police arrive. Go to blue car. Door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. Open door? Open blue car door. Fucking hell. Oh my god. What is this game? Uh, drink whiskey. Alright, pour pour on blue car. Or maybe not. Pour whiskey on blue car. Oh Jesus. With the lights approaching you begin to hear the you begin to hear the thrill of the sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Uh, look around. Red and boy flashing lights are causing the pain in your head to be all the more severe. Walk to... Uh, go to... Go to the silhouette. Wet. Okay. Talk to try to talk, but you're not making any sense. Go to figure. All right, look around again. Look around. Look around. Look around. I know that the fucking. Okay, um, uh, walk. <sighs> Go to person. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head I increases. You. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. Okay. A poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now looking I'm back at it, I'm well aware. How you left me there to protect yourself. I'm sorry. Some evidence of some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you locked all I'm sorry. The and you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. I'm Save sorry. Yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. I don't want to. 
Um, say it. No, Tell I'm me. good. Listen to yourself. No, I don't want to. Ah, oh, shit. It's not time for a disco party, girl. James. Only video they have is some horror compilation trash. Do you not understand? I'm sorry for whatever I did to you. I'm sorry. This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop, make it stop. Do you remember? Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions, see what really happened. Stop the session, the station. I'm trying to. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we I'm uncertain. Us, although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Fuck you, dude! Then, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. No, you won't! I'm not want to come back to you! Fuck that! Whoa! Everything! All of the episodes! Everything was connected! Holy shit! Wow! Is that it? Can I take my headphones off? Is that it? Yeah! Wow! My god! All of the episodes were connected somehow! What the fuck? I did not expect that! Wow, what a cool game! What an experience, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, vicariously through me. If you haven't played it for yourselves, make sure you get in and play it for yourselves. Don't just watch me play it, man. That is something that needs to be experienced from a first person kind of perspective. But my god, that was cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There's links to popyjn.com down below. If you guys would like to become a premium content member, uh, there is a 30-day free trial on at the moment for you guys to sign up to if you'd like. Um, heaps more content going up on there. I hope you guys are enjoying the website. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Until next time, I'm YouTube's Proby JN. Peace out. Why can't I conquer this? It's just like home, but not the same. And the voices in the home.